All right. Hello, everybody. This is a uh, a guide, I guess you can say, to Tiny Builds No Time to Explain Remastered. Uh, it's not like a speedrun guide. I mean, it's not the hardest game to get into speedrun wise, but there might be a few uh, three tricks, tricks and stuff that uh, needs explaining. So I will just be be playing through the entire game, and you can watch along. Um, I might redo some levels just to to explain it better, but but yeah, this is uh, just a, a general general guide to to get you started. Um, so yeah, here goes. The timing starts as soon as you press uh, press space there. So just make sure that whatever button you're uh, you've configured to being a split time button is the same as or not the same, but you press it at the same time. Uh, the intro cutscene, you just press escape to skip, and then just fly as fast as possible through each of these levels. Try to avoid as many of the uh, ground obstacles as possible in the first two areas there. Oh, that was a mistake. Sorry, right again. Spawn there, and here, and just jump over. Basically. Uh, here you want to shoot down a little bit right there to uh, soften your landing a little bit, otherwise it will just do like that and you'll lose time on that. You don't want that. Here you want to, on the first boss, you want to shoot as soon as, it, uh, as you can here. And then just stand in that uh, the corner where, you know, where I'm shooting from. And then shoot diagonal like this so you can get as much damage on the thrusters and then follow them around once they start dying each of them. I was a little, little bit unlucky, but yeah. And then what I do is when, as soon as the uh, spaceship crashes down, I start hovering here because I know it, that when the crap starts coming up, I will uh, be at the perfect height to just be in a safe spot uh, to avoid the, uh, the claw that comes up like that <coughs> and once you hit the final uh, um, final blow on the crap you just uh, press escape and then click select level uh, it's very nice that if you don't do anything the mouse will automatically be on select level so usually you can just click it like that uh, and then go into the, to the next world you just again try and uh, shoot a small pathway through there and this next level, while walking up to the blocks, we will be shooting them, just because flying all the way over there might get us there faster, but we haven't shot any blocks there so yet, so we have to do that first. Then on this first one, and then just jump all the way to the, uh, to the portal. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory, but... Uh, this one can be a little bit tricky to get first try, so if you don't hit it the, the first try, just try it as soon as you respawn, because you will have some invincibility frames that can make it a lot easier. Oh, okay, uh, here you want to try and avoid hitting this block as well when you're, you're jumping up, uh, because sometimes you might not get the exact height that you want. Um, but yeah, we go, go up here because, one, you can get the hat for 100%. Which I'm not explaining right now, but also it's faster to, than to go on. To so here is the first real thing that uh, we can actually skip. Uh, once we get to to this point, approximately, uh, there will be a, a black SUV hitting us. Uh, I can show you that here, Shut up! like that, and the uh, shotgun guy comes out. Uh, but there's actually a way to skip that. I'm just pressing yes! R to restart here. Uh, roughly at this point here you can I usually try to to have this as a uh, reference point a little before you are under that you want to Shut up! jump and shoot at the same time so you land over here um, sometimes there will be this blue block in the background dark blue and as soon as you enter that Shut up! that's a good reference point of course I, I should like overshot it there um, and this way you skip the animation of him Coming out there, if you jump that early, you can actually completely skip the uh, entire as if you're coming. Uh, not really necessary and a little risky because you can actually uh, accidentally hit uh, 
at the latch there. But yeah, as I said, it's uh, it's faster and uh, uh, it skips the animation of him. And also, you have uh, the laser for the rest of this level, which is faster than the shotgun uh, specifically. Uh, here, as soon as you spawn, uh, shoot upwards so you can land faster. And then just that was really bad. Try to angle it as low as possible. Just get above the spikes there. Again, as soon as you sp uh, spawn, shoot the laser and go above here. Because Going underneath is uh, very slow. For most of these second levels, we will be trying to go above the entire thing because it's faster. Here, jump and then uh, I didn't really show it well there. But as soon as you spawn, you want to jump and then shoot like that. Um, if you just shoot, I don't think you can make it up there. Oh, uh, you can barely, but it's it's safer to just try and, and jump uh, like that. You see, I got a lot higher. Walk. If you land here, you don't want to like try and do that because it takes a lot of time to, to land back down. So if you just walk here, land here, you just walk up to the edge here and then shoot up there. Oh, oops. It doesn't actually matter how fast you do this level uh, at, the very mo at this moment because we don't have a load remover. And the way this game works is that if you uh, beat the level very fast, the next level gonna take a little bit longer to load because it loads the game while playing the previous levels. So in a few levels, like this one, um, you actually have like three or four seconds where you can mess around without actually losing time. And oh, okay, let's try that. So a deal way of beating this level, not quite, but doing like that and then just jumping all the way over and hitting the port like that. Here is another really cool skip. Um, it's not really a skip, it's, it, it is quite intended. Um, because, yeah. You can go outside of the uh, out of bounds there, jump down. It can be a little bit hard to find the timing on when to shoot to actually hit the portal, but it's just try it a few times and eventually you get it. Um, here, again, as soon as you spawn, shoot the uh, shotgun. This, this level is very much experience based uh, on where to actually aim I mean, sometimes you just you will just miss it sometimes you can just get directly down into the portal which is really nice but not always happens uh, so be back at the blazer just jump all the way over pretty simple <coughs> for this one I like for safety I like to just go down on this ledge and while walking back up I like to jump and shoot like this to get some extra height. Um, I know it, it is possible to just do it like that, but it's it's really risky and you don't always make it. Uh, at least I don't. Like that. Okay. And again, it doesn't really matter which method you use at this current time, um, because this next level it takes a really long time to load. Um, this one is really important though, because you really really want to jump uh, right after getting out of the portal. If you just, if you don't jump, you won't get the height to get over uh, the uh, thing here. And right off the bat. Like that. Uh, let me see. Let's try and do it correctly this time. So jump and shoot at the same time. Get up here. The reason it's so important is because this is a level that uh, don't have that buffer time. So the faster you beat this level, the, the better. Uh, yeah, it can be a little bit tricky, and this just, uh, I didn't really explain it that well, but just try and, and do it like I did there. Uh, this one has very big buffer zone, so you can actually take it take your time here. Uh, but yeah, just, it's not very hard. Here you want to enter this shaft or whatever, go directly into the portal. The spikes can be a little bit scary. Here you can skip two entire blocks of water by just going up there. And now we are entering the shark octopus fight. Uh, um, this fight is can it's very easy once you learn the cycle. Um, if you notice, there will be some bubbles coming up from wherever he's coming up. You will always try to come up where you are, and you just want to wait until the bubbles hit the boat uh, until moving. And then you can get a two cycle, uh, into the first hit two cycle. And here you just want to stay on this far right of the, uh, the middle boat. Just keep shooting up there. Um, let me just try it the bus again for you. 
Uh, just keep on shooting up like that and make sure you don't walk off accidentally. Uh, it can easily happen with the uh, laser guns recoil and stuff. Wait till the bubbles and jump. In. It is possible to get him like when he's vertical, but it's, it's quite hard. Or horizontal, I mean. Uh, it is quite hard. Yeah, just stand here on the, uh, the far side and then try and jump up as high as you can uh, to let the alien ship suck you in. It is, you say, uh, you lose f like five seconds by accident to the hot world and then entering this. Uh, it was just, but yeah, we don't want that, of course. Used to do that because I thought it was faster, but we find out, found out it wasn't. Um, this one, just jump to that platform. Straight in there. Can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Yeah, we don't want to use the uh, trampoline because we accident actually hit the uh, spikes up there. That's not very fast. Here you want to shoot a little bit just to make it up here. If you don't shoot at all, you just land there. And then you have to actually shoot upwards to to not hit the spikes. Uh, but it's super slow to go back and forth all the time, so just shoot a little bit here. Uh, you can jump all the way through and hit the portal directly. Here you just uh, shoot up and then this way to make it uh, into the portal. Very simple. Yeah, this one is actually uh, a cool one. Um, the beam here will attract you at different rates. So if you just go up here... Um, no, wait. Um, it doesn't really work if you just shoot. So sometimes it can it can actually... Uh, attract you a lot slower, like that, for example. Um, so you want to try and avoid that by getting into the beam in the same general direction uh, as the beam goes. I'm not sure if shooting helps, but it definitely doesn't like make you slower or anything. Uh, here you want to shoot. Just a little bit to actually make it into the beam, but not hit the spikes, uh, and then avoid this one. Just jump straight up and then without uh, hitting the beam. Can be a little bit tricky. Uh, you might do like something like that, something like that, and then jump like that. Here you want to just try and get it like that. Uh, sometimes you will not hit the second launch pad. But that's just how it is. Do it like that. Um, this one there are multiple ways of doing. Uh, I like to land on this one, go up here, and then hit that on the way up, and then just skip two entire platforms, and then skip these last two as well. Um, that's the way I do it. There are different ways of doing it. And this one is a little bit risky because you don't always hit that second one. And uh, when skipping, the wall can actually take a lot of your momentum. Like, like right there, it can uh, completely stop you, and you can't make it up to the uh, to the next trampoline or whatever. This one can be a little bit tricky. Just uh, learn when to shoot down, like that. I, I usually, and when I enter this uh, first beam, I usually shoot down a little bit. Just really quickly, otherwise I will go all the way down there, and it's not really that favorable. Uh, just like that, to quickly get on with it. And then have a approximate direction on the, on the last three beams, like shooting this way, to just go straight down in here. Oh yes, into the portal. No biggie there. Here you can uh, ride as you spawn jump and then and shoot to hit the world turner a little faster. This one doesn't really need explaining, I don't think. <coughs> Alright, for this one there is a uh, very nice skip that I found uh, where instead of uh, doing the normal way you would hit the world turner here and then go up and accidentally get hit there and bad stuff, um, you can actually just jump up using the uh, slope boost by by walking up like while walking up then jumping and shooting at the same time like that you can actually make it up here 
and then just into the portal. Pretty simple. This is one of my least favorite bosses because there's RG involved. Um, so we want to have some good uh, debris spawning here. That one is actually easy. And then hope for nothing to fall on top of us. Um, your time here very much depends on, on the RNG of the uh, um, debris. You want to have approximately, like if you compare to the uh, polarizing circles there, you want it to be almost exactly underneath and maybe a little to the right. Um, you want to be able to stand as close to this the globe as possible so you can actually shoot directly at it, more or less, without uh, your beam getting deflate, deflected. Um, so you just stand around here, shoot it, and you can keep on shooting while it falls down, like that. Uh, a normal boss fight for this is two cycle like I got here. <coughs> and as soon as it, it turns like grey, you just exit and select level to skip a cutscene. <coughs> uh, sorry about... I'm not like on top of my game health-wise right now, so I hope you can bear with me there. So yeah, you exit to the uh, select level and just hop into the next world. This is more or less just an auto-scroller. Wanna shoot the uh, dinosaurs as fast as possible. Um, uh, most of them doesn't really matter how fast you shoot them. For example, these first ones. Just, I like to shoot them just for fun. Doesn't really matter. Uh, this first one, just keep your... Or this next one, just keep your laser in the middle. Shoot that. Uh, these guys again. And this time you want to move all the way over here and shoot down. So you will immediately get damage on the second one. Uh, here, these doesn't really matter that much. But just try and, and shoot them as fast as possible. Uh, I'm keep, I keep hovering up here in the uh, top left corner because it's more or less a safe spot for a lot of the uh, enemies. Like these won't hit me. Here you want to try and, and get as much damage and as fast as possible. Again, if you just keep on shooting from up here, you will automatically uh, sorry, kill all of the missiles. And as soon as you kill them, go over here and, and kill these guys. The last one will al always shoot. You can't kill him fast enough. So just make sure you adjust your uh, aim a little bit to make sure you hit him for the entire duration. These guys again. And as soon as you kill the last one, you want to move down here. Uh, to a new safe spot for this uh, for, the, for the boss. Just keep on hovering around here, shooting. As soon as we kill him, there's a very important part where you shoot up the forehead because his hitbox is really, really weird. Um, I guess I should probably try to do that again. Um, because the, the hitbox for for the final boss is really weird when he he enters the uh, the scene. Uh, or he, when he exits his uh, his mount, whatever, the hitbox seems to be coming from from the left to right for some reason, uh, and you want to be able to hit him for the entire duration. If you don't, you like I did there, and just shoot him directly. You, it will take some time before he actually takes damage from you, um, and that can actually save like a second or something if you do it correctly. Maybe one and a half. It's uh, it's the most time you can gain on this entire auto scroller section. <coughs> yeah. Again, just try and follow the, him uh, all the way. If you get the maximum damage in and follow him perfectly, he will not move back at all after shooting up his lasers there. Maybe uh, your laser a little bit to adjust for the third one. Get back to the safe spot. Let's use things. Uh, move to down to this safe spot. So yeah, just uh, I'm gonna try and shoot him directly, just to, so you can see the uh, the difference. See, I don't, I'm not hitting him until there. It took a lot longer before I started hitting him. Um, and it actually makes a huge difference. Just try and uh, follow the uh, thing. And as soon as he starts exploding, just 
exit by selecting the level to skip a, uh, skip the entire Kra Kra cutscene and enter the underground. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Here you want to, uh, when you enter this level, just start shooting upwards because one, you will fall faster and you will skip this like knock out uh, uh, animation thing. So you can start moving faster. Use the slope boost again there to get up here faster and just jump into the portal. Uh, for most of these levels we'll just uh, enter the portal while on fire because it's way faster. Uh, while you are in the air, you can be on fire for longer. Uh, we're definitely going to utilize that. For example, in this one, uh, you can just jump up here. And if we don't, I'm just going to restart here. If we don't make it into that portal while in the air after setting uh, blocks on fire, this will happen. We will always die because we are, have actually uh, overstepped our limit of uh, on fire time. So yeah, just make sure to get in there. These spikes are not that big of a problem. Just learn the jumping pattern like that. This this level can uh, definitely cause a lot of trouble. Um, try to, to jump when there. Like, they, they come up and you just wait half a second. Not, not even half a second. It's just like... Uh, it's too late. Uh, I'll just try again. There. So it actually fits when, with them being down when you land down the second time. Because also here you want to hit the fire while on the way down and the spikes are coming down as well so you can... Oh, that's too late. Ah, damn it, I'm bad. <laughs> that was too early, but I had to kind of adjust a little bit there. And just hit the blocks and, and enter the uh, portal. Um, in here it is possible to, to get this first cycle, it's really risky in my opinion, so I never go for it, and I've never actually gone, gotten it, but it is definitely possible. <sighs> Sorry about that. Just can try and, and go for it here. You can get up there, uh, it obviously skips a cycle of these, these spikes. Uh, but I just like, like to s take the safe and, and, and wait one, uh, one cycle of it. Just like that. Fly directly into the flame. This is the only time where we're actually gonna extinguish ourselves. Here you can get the first cycle there. Um, I moved actually a little too fast, so I mistimed it. Um, I can. But I'm just gonna see if I can get it. Like that. Um, if you don't get it like that, uh, I'm just going to show you what is the safest way of doing it. That was a close one. So if you don't, uh, you miss time and you're like, ah, fuck, uh, I did, forgot to shoot down. Um, so like that, you can just, you have some invincibility frames uh, again, so you can actually just start falling down straight away. Uh, and you will guarantee get it. Also make sure to actually shoot upwards to get down faster and actually make it. Um, in this double you're supposed to hit the fire and light on a fuse and go over there, but that takes too long, so we just hit the fire. Oh, uh, not like that. <laughs> just walk into the fire, jump all the way down here, and just enter the portal while on fire. So this level we have uh, two options. I'm gonna show the first the, the the option that I used to do, but it's slightly slower but a lot safer. Uh, the first option you have is just to walk up to the spikes here and then use the invincibility frames to pass through the uh, fires. And you have all the time in the world you you want to so just get up here and and jump over. Um, the faster way is to just straight in go into the uh, fire and then fly over like that. It takes a little while to get to get used to and and, uh, and jumping correctly because your movement actually changes a little bit while on fire. You get a little bit more slippery and slidey, um, so it, it it gets a little weirder uh, to do that. 
So in the beginning, if you're unsure about the skip, it doesn't save that much time, but it looks cool. Uh, just do the uh, damage uh, thingy. And you only have like very short amount of time there to, to actually jump. Can I? Ah, oh, I didn't, yeah, didn't make it. I wanted to show you something, but it's fine. Yeah, it's a little, uh, little unsafe. In this level, just straight away jump up here. Uh, okay, not like that. <laughs> Sorry again. Hover for a brief second to just uh, make sure you actually get that one. And for this one, for the longest period of time, I, I had no idea how to actually get this one consistently. Uh, but I figured out that you want to jump as soon as this pops up. So there. And you get it more often than not. It's a very, like, safe uh, way of, of doing it. So here we have the mole boss, which is, for a lot of people first play, playing the game, is a big struggle. Once you learn it, it's really easy. Just make sure to jump. Jump and shoot at the same time to make sure you get over every time. Shoot a stomach for the full duration. Uh, after the third time, here, you want to jump down into this pit here, wait for the rubble to fall down, then it will jump up. And this skips the uh, rock throwing animation, um, which is super slow and very annoying. Uh, and then just stand as close to him as possible without actually hitting him, walking into him to beat his laser as fast as possible. For the second phase it's basically just the same, except for the fact that you can't skip the, uh, the rock throwing, which happens after the second time. It will throw rocks at us. Just a little mini game, try and shoot all of the all of the rocks. Not that hard. Just shoot him here. Jump over, and then he will jump down here, and we will jump down here. He is one of the most reliable bosses to finish or to fight. Actually, really easy. As soon as we explode his head, so the level select and go out to the hop menu. That skips the entire uh, 1 minute and 10, 20 seconds cutscene of us freeing our evil self and stuff like that. Um, yeah. There aren't really any that or that many tricks for this this world. Um, it's just get good. Uh, practice a lot. Uh, actually, right here in the beginning, Make sure to not click while on here, because otherwise your your cursor will do weird kind of stuff. Um, at least if you're using mouse and keyboard. So just make sure to not click anything, don't press escape because you can't skip the cutscene. And yeah, there you go. You'll find your own way of where to, to click and, and stuff. Uh, but yeah, just to give you a general idea here. Sometimes you want to w take a few steps to the left when you spawn, just to, to get the angle right. This is definitely the uh, the, the level you have, you have to practice the most, it's by far the hardest. Uh, I rarely get it first try. That was actually really good. Um, here you want to just... Oh, not like that. But try and avoid hitting the top one. Just Sometimes it's very good to just use a lot of small clicks. For this one, <coughs> walk all the way up to uh, to the wall here, and then as far as your mouth or your uh, thing you can reach, and just click there and hold it like that, and then just move it up. It's uh, surprise, quite simple. Actually, you don't even have to move it because as when you you release the form from the first time, it uh, it actually stays where you want it to be for the most part, and then just learn the. Uh, the amount of time you have to, to hold down the mouse button. Uh, this one you can make all the way up here on the first try. Hold it, like not at 45 degree angle, walk up, walk a little bit, and then just all the way up. Quite simple. Uh, if you want that, like that. Uh, here you don't want to, to walk all the way, just take a few steps and then s stop, because otherwise you will hit that. Um, Electric thing like that. Don't want that. Snake's level is really easy. Just <laughs> really easy. 
Uh, two quick ones here. Make sure it's so you are 100% guaranteed to get over there. On this one, try and go down by uh, clicking in the wall. Uh, you can't skip that mini cutscene, but this cutscene you can skip by pressing escape. And that brings us back to the uh, hub menu again. Oh, <laughs> okay. <coughs> Press escape to skip the cutscene as soon as it starts. And here you can actually, while it's still uh, black, uh, you can start moving a little bit. As soon as you see your uh, your name and, and the cursor, you can start moving. Um, so yeah, just uh, make it up here and try when you hit the cake, actually make it over to the to the slope. You don't want to fall all the way down because that's gonna eat a lot of your momentum in the bottom of the hill. Um, but yeah, here you uh, jump all the way to the slope and kind of use the the slope boost to get up there. Um, you don't even you don't have to, to to press jump, but but you can still use the slow boost. Um, hit the cake and fall directly into the to here and shoot upwards to go down just a slight bit faster. Um, I don't think this really needs any explanation. Land as far up as possible. Give a little bit of a boost and try to when falling down try to um, shoot your way as far as far as possible. And then just, when you're fat, it's faster to, to make those small jumps with the laser. Um, so make sure to do that. Um, this one is has a an actual skip. Uh, hit the cake, land there. We don't want too much speed on this one, actually. Uh, that went a little bit fast, but let's try again. Uh, we don't want too much speed on here, so instead of going like this and landing up here, it can get a little bit harder, uh, and sometimes we don't, might not even make it. Uh, if that happens, this is actually a really fortunate one, because we can actually jump all the way up here and just try again, and we'll make it. Um, but yeah, that doesn't always happen. So you land here, and start rolling, and as soon as you start going down on the uh, on the slope, you give it a slight touch of the, uh, of the mouse button. So you just get a little bit of air. Uh, for some reason, the game is, is programmed to as when you're rolling. Uh, as soon as you hit a, a block, you will actually break it, almost no matter what. So you don't even need that much height. You just need to, to be rolling. Um, if you hit the the opposite wall at the same frame or whatever as you are on top of another block, uh, you will actually stop your rolling and not be able to break that block. So that's what happened the first time I tried. Uh, I showed. Uh, I, if I have too much speed, I will actually make it over, hit the uh, the wall, and uh, not be able to do it. So sometimes, you, if you there's not a block underneath like here, I will just bounce off it and roll the other way, um, which is fortunate, I guess. But yeah, try and uh, hit it here. Just like touch and then stop your own momentum by just pressing the left a little bit. Pressing A. Um, here I try always to go over the cake and land here so I can jump this way. I'm not sure if that's actually not, not faster than just hitting the cake directly. I haven't really tested it. But it's, it's not that... That was actually really fortunate, but that's very rare that happens. Um, yeah, try to to land right around here somewhere, not too far down on the slope because you will lose so much momentum of the. Uh... If you land down here, for example, let's say I land here, you'll uh... and then you have to do like that, and that's really not what you want. Um, so yeah, make it up here. Also have to make it over the cake to get that hat up there if you're doing all hats or 100% or whatever. Fly up there and get as far as possible here. And use the invincibility frames to jump up. Pretty simple. Uh, for this one, we uh, don't take the cake. Just jump up, take these two. 
and fly down here. Um, obviously you want to fly directly into the portal, but the hat is here if you want that. Uh, or if you're doing all hats. Like that. I repeat that level. For this one, as soon as we touch the, uh, the launch pad, we want to shoot up a little bit so we don't hit the cake. Like that. Uh, and make it over here. That was not the best example. Like, I ride a spawn, I actually do like that, usually. Oh, that, wow, I hit that. That's amazing. <laughs> I'll try that again. Like that. And then, on while flying, we want to hit that and try to make it over this uh, bump or whatever. And make it up here. We don't want to go f too high because we will actually die if we go out of, out of bounds. There's a lot of time there. Um, let's try that again. Oh, that would actually make it too far. If we don't hit this we can, uh, and accidentally land down here, we won't be able to uh, to beat the level. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty close. And then just make sure to shoot, like, this general direction to make it past these spikes. And avoid hitting that one because it's much slower. Um, this is super easy. Just jump as high as you can and then shoot upwards to make it through there. The boss here actually has a small trick. Um, you want to, to shoot very, very slightly when going up to hit the button to get on top of him. Uh, because that will allow you to directly after you hit the button jump up and get maximum damage on him. Like that. If you roll down on the bottom from the top. Um, his rockets doesn't damage him. By the way, it's only your laser that does it. And for the final one, you can just keep on shooting. And don't worry about the, the rockets. Pretty simple. Uh, skip the cutscene. Give me a second. <coughs> so, as soon as you uh, enter this, we'll just restart that. You want to, again, shoot upwards to uh, avoid the fall damage. In a lot of these levels we use the um, acid to our advantage to move faster because it gives us a huge, huge boost. Um, this level you can do in... this level you can do it two ways. You can either do the safe route and just jump over like this and into the ball like that. Uh, but to do the fast route which is a lot riskier, but looks a lot cooler. Uh, you have to approximately aim like this general direction. Um, jump in here and make it up there. You can't get it completely clean. Let's see if I can get that for you. Like that, and just straight into the portal. Looks super cool and very fast. You, can even, you don't even have to hit the uh, start there. You can even do the backup yeah, if you just barely hit it. Uh, did I make it? Manage? Ah, didn't, didn't manage to restart that. If you hit the uh, the side of the uh, of that platform, you can still manage to do it. But if you hit the uh, the slope, uh, see, uh, com uh, like coming from this direction, you accidentally hit the hit the slope instead of going up. Um, let's see if I can. Yeah, yeah. Hit the slope here. You will not be able to make it up there, uh, which is why it's it's a little bit risky. I didn't manage to show it, unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, so you will you will experience that a few times if when you try to learn learn that trick. <clears throat> uh, for this one, jump all the way to the second one. If you go for the hat, jump down and get that. Uh, otherwise, just make sure to let go of the the laser so you don't accidentally hit these uh, before you're actually here. And then jump up and straight into the portal. Skip all of the mini platforms. This one I really like. You just jump up to this one. Make it up to this one and then straight into the portal. You only need two jumps, super fast. Uh, this one is always a little bit of a gamble which route you're actually gonna take. Uh, the ideal route is something like this. Um, that wasn't perfect, but but the ideal route. You you want to be able to go underneath everything. Yeah, you, um, that block that I uh, hit there, that one can kill you so many times. It's really annoying. <laughs> Otherwise you do stuff like that. Hit there. Um, yeah. You'll find that was perfect. That that was the ideal route right there. 
Um, but it can be really tricky and not very reliable. Uh, this is one of my least favorite levels of the entire game. Um, just because in a speedrun it is super slow no matter what you do. Uh, it takes time to break these blocks, so we just jump up here. Make sure to not keep on firing like that, uh, because you die, and uh, we don't want that. So let go right there, and then to get the fastest over here, while walking backwards, make sure to jump a little bit uh, while shooting, like that. Uh, here, jump up to this next one, and here's where it starts to get tricky. Um, if you're going for all hats, try to avoid hitting these uh, blocks down here. Let me just show you. Obviously want that. And then go up here. And yeah, okay, I even failed there. But if you hit these blocks down here, you will have to restart because you can't make it past there. Uh, that's really unfortunate, but that's just how all hats works. Um, this block here will annoy you so much because sometimes it happens where you manage to just have that one block left to break um, and you will need just a, a slight tap of your uh, of your mouse to, to break it but if you keep it just for a frame longer or something you will hit the uh, the salt block behind it and that will turn into spikes and kill you and make the or uh, make the level impossible to complete um, Sometimes you can get lucky and just get it, uh, but if you want to try and, and be a little more safer, walk all the way up to it and try and, and aim it a little bit diagonal. Still just slight tap it, like that, uh, but if you accidentally hit it a little more, you would just break that block, uh, which is the safest way to do that. On here, try and do the same thing. It's a little bit easier here because if you end up being here, you can just shoot that way. You don't even need to hit that. And just try and aim at this block right there, and then again shoot the opposite direction while jumping. <coughs> this one can also be a bit pain in the ass to do fast. Um, what you want to try and do, hit the acid and land up here, and then while standing here, shoot a straight path through the middle blocks. Um, and once you have the final block, walk down on the slope, so you do a reverse slope boost, I guess you can say, uh, where you walk down and shoot down into the ground, so you hit in that space between, and then just keep on moving until you hit the water on the other side. Uh, something like this. Shoot the blocks, and then move all the way, like that. It's the most reliable way I have found to do it. Can basically get it every time. Sometimes I get a little bit unlucky, but yeah, like that. Uh, this used to be one of my least favorite levels until I found this safe method. Now it's kind of fine. Like sometimes it just happens to do like that. You die, and that's just it. Like that. Pretty simple. So for this final boss, there is a multiple things you can do. Hang on a second. Or that you need to be aware of. Um, unlike a lot of the previous bosses, he uh, can actually go multiple ways, this boss, and depending on what he does, you have to adjust and stuff. It's not uh, the same fight every time. Um, every fight you want to move it up, make it up here, and then try and, and get as much damage on him. You can actually just bounce on his shield like, while shooting down. Um, you want to move to the opposite side of where he starts to move, and then that was not perfect damage at all. Try and move over here. It's not the most intuitive battle uh, in a lot of places. Here you want to try and, and follow him while he moves onto to the middle, since he doesn't have a shield there. It, oh, that was barely, barely there. Okay, there I got it. Let me just try to do that again. It is it is very hard to explain what is actually going on. But yeah, just try and do like that. Okay, this is... Uh, I hope I can, I can show you the uh, the death abuse that you can do in this. 
depending on where he goes from here. Ah, he moves the rock opposite direction. If he goes the other way, you can actually get hit uh, while he moves to that way or the other way uh, by just getting hit by his blade there. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to try and, and show you what, what I mean. It's a cool uh, little thing you can do. Like it. it is only possible 50% uh, of the, way, the time, and even then it's it's really precise. You want to do it. Okay, he keeps on going to the right. It's a little bit unfortunate. But basically you want to do that, and that would time it so like he is up here, when you spawn right now, but that would make it that he was up here when I spawned. So all the way while he's going down and into to the middle, you can shoot down on him without his shield on. Um, making for a one and a half cycle or something. If you don't don't get that, it's uh, the ideal cycle is to cycle in the middle here. That was some really good damage. Okay, he keeps on going to the right. I can't show you. That was a close one. If I had gotten hit here, I would be up there while he was up there. But imagine if it was the other way around. Ah, got it. I should get near there. I was really close to being uh, just flat out two cycle. Um, the art world, you basically just have to memorize all of the uh, low levels by heart. So you don't have to paint anything. There will be a, a single level you have to paint, more or less. But yeah. <coughs> Can't really... Just try and, and, and do it over and over again to, to learn. A lot of them will just come intuitively. After a while. Here you have to avoid this uh, little block here. Just remember that. And remember that there's actually some... Uh, yeah. Pillar here, you have to get over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Great tutorial. Get all the way over that pillar as well. Shoot down here uh, to avoid getting uh, getting knocked out. I got it, got knocked out anyway. But yeah, still like that. You can actually shoot upwards because most of the time you will never get knocked. You will not get knocked out while shooting, so even if you shoot and get more momentum downwards, you will not be knocked out. Uh, even if you just land, you just try and do that. Here you have to avoid the gap, which I did not do. There we go. Uh, land on that block where this guy is standing. Jump all the way up here to that invisible block. Uh, all the way over that. With, which usually looks something like that. There. Try to avoid getting to that little uh, ledge or hole over there because it slows you down. Here you can walk all the way, like, to here um, before you have to jump. And there you can just jump straight into the portal, which is nice. This platform can be a little, this block can be a little bit hard to hit sometimes, just be aware of that. And this is the first time where we actually need to, to hit, uh, or to paint, uh, to get that hole, because otherwise we'll just do that and try there, you know. It's very, uh, not very favorable. So we come down here and shoot down there. Oh, I didn't actually get the uh, good painting there. There we go. You don't leave you don't lose any time by painting, so might as well do it. Try and avoid those salt blocks. Go straight into the pole. Don't need those middle blocks. Here you just want to make sure you actually get the first try because if you fail the first try it's gonna be really hard to do the second time without resetting. And that's the art world. You can you can skip this cutscene, but it takes more time, so no reason to do that, obviously. <coughs> now we get to the uh, hardest world or universe. Uh, obviously, just skip the cutscene. Um, the f 
rejected green clone here, you have to just play around with a shit ton to to actually master. Oh, I thought that was because he. Yeah, move like that. Uh, didn't explain it. Sorry. Here you jump to get a little bit extra extra time and to get a clean fall down. Unless you do like that, it's, it's a little bit weird. I guess you can do that. That's actually better. I always jump for some reason. I should not do that. Just walk off here and then shoot onto that wall. Uh, avoid the top spikes. Jump to be a little bit safer, I guess. Don't have to jump. Just I just do a lot of these strats that I show you here. I just do to be safe. I guess you don't have to jump there either. Um, here you can just like try and find the safe way or the uh, the way to go directly over there. But what I usually do is walk up, jump up to this wall, and shoot over because you get a much more direct path over instead of trying to adjust your uh, actual speed to do like that. Um, again, just a lot safer than uh, trying to, to find the way. Here you have to jump to get off there, I think. Don't you? We'll just check. Yeah, you do. So, jump off, shoot all the way over here. Here, you, if you don't go full speed, it's gonna be really hard to, to make it up there in time. You can, of course, do it, but it's really risky, so I usually try and, and adjust it a little bit to not hit the spikes here. And give me a little more time to make that second, um, second jump or whatever. If you go going for hats, just full speed, you'll go through the portal, hit the hat, and then complete the level. Um, here I usually also uh, jump, I didn't manage to restart, but I usually jump before uh, launching myself between the spikes. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm recording this while I'm sick. Not the best time to do it, I guess, but you just have to bear with me. And I didn't really have anything other to do while sick, so... Uh, <coughs> where was I? Um, yeah. Again, walk off here. Shoot that way. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Again, I usually jump uh, just to make sure I get a, a, a clean fall down. Otherwise you might do something like... Uh, uh, where you want to, to jump, walk off, but want to... Like, make sure you don't hit the spikes, like... The, uh, like that, oh, uh, like like that. So you um, you walk the opposite direction, so you accidentally do like that. Uh, if that makes any sense, you know, try to do it like that, but but accidentally just walking backwards. Yeah, it's it's not it's a big it's not a big thing. It's just for safety for new runners, I guess you can uh, do that. Uh, so yeah, you land on here just. Press right to, to fall down, in case you can do. Uh, or shoot down if you feel like shooting. All the way over here. Again, if you go full speed, it can be a little bit hard to, to make it into the portal. Made it anyway, but just not go full speed. More like that kind of speed instead of going full speed. Um, Oh my god, I should really not be doing this right now. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, For this level you're supposed to take, jump from side to side, but it's super hard, so we just do like that. Even got the hat. That hat can be a little bit tricky to get, uh, because you can't really see how high you, you've already gotten. So it can be a little bit hard to time. Um, here the developers definitely wanted to give you the hint of there being hat up there, of course not. Alright, this is the uh, by far the hardest level in the entire game, in my opinion. Um, mainly because there is no, no checkpoint, so if you die you start back here again. Um, so you want to... the first one you can just do like that, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, walk a little to the right and then diagonal up there. Walk a little bit down to make sure you actually hit the wall and not the spikes. 
try and land here. Almost, almost directly horizontal, but just a little bit down to make it over to that wall. And this is the hard part, um, because you will have to fly up into this general area and then do a side uh, cut. And if you, you just go full speed, you'll hit that, more or less, every time. Um, so yeah, you don't want that. So you have to try and adjust a little bit. Uh, okay, I actually managed to do a three, three jump there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a level you're gonna have to practice a lot. It, it comes over time. How much speed you're gonna gonna want? All right, uh, this last level was my was the hardest level. This is my least favorite level, um, mainly because it is completely RNG. You want these green launch platforms to throw you up here. Because this is where the bombs are. When the uh, when the launch pad spawns and when the bomb spawns is completely RNG. The location and size of the platforms completely RNG. Uh, and as the only level in the game, you can actually get a double jump. But sometimes it doesn't work, and that's also a little bit RNG there. Uh, also, some of the bombs sometimes just despawn for no apparent reason. Um, which can be really frustrating, especially if you're like, he you only needs one bomb now. And sometimes he can just despawn like that. Uh, when he starts flailing his arms like that, he is he's dead. Uh, but you still have to be make sure you don't die by falling down to the bottom level and falling out of that. Because then you will have to restart the, the level. Skip the cutscene. Uh, start jumping with the laser and then using the shotgun. That's actually a really cool little thing you can do there. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but if you stand all the way up to this, right in the door to the castle is here, you just shoot your shotgun into it and it will actually break. Uh, and you fly into to the, to the trigger of the level or something. Um, yeah, jump up here, start with the laser, use the shotgun. Uh, for a lot of these levels, you will try, after you have shot the shotgun, try and, and shoot the laser so you don't accident, actually uh, get knocked out like that. It, it, it's a very small thing, uh, but it can save you some, some times over, over the course of these levels. Um, so yeah, uh, first off, try and go up here. Straight into the bottle. A lot of these are quite self-explanatory. For this one, just for safety, try and fly out as far as you can. It doesn't matter if you hit out of bounds here, because there's actually an, a wall there that will just stop you from, from dying, which is nice. Um, yeah, here, jump without the, uh, the shotgun. You don't have to go as far down as I did there, I just did it for the, uh, for the hat. This one is pretty simple as well. Fly with the with the laser all the way over there, and then oh, <laughs> I'm really think. Let's try that again. Fly with the laser all the way to the edge, walk off, and then just shoot the shotgun. Oh damn. Um. Okay, <laughs> I'm failing really hard right now. Um, shoot the shotgun like that. This one can be a little bit tricky. Fly with the laser all the way here, and then uh, adjust a little bit to the right so you can shoot the shotgun. If you're going fast, you might forget to adjust a little bit and you will end up in the opposite corner hitting the hat and then it's really hard to make it back onto the uh, to the platform with the portal. This is another of my uh, least favorite levels uh, because it's just really annoying. Um, this entire, like the first tunnel here can be annoying to, you might do something like that or, uh, uh, damn it, or, uh, 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 damn it, something like that. Uh, so getting it correctly is hard. Again, adjust to fly the opposite direction when you shoot the, the shotgun like that, and then like that. Uh, I, sh I shot a little too much here. It's, it's kind of hard to explain what I do, um, but hit this, and halfway through that tunnel, start shooting the laser in that direction. Um, like that to stop you from hitting the opposite spikes and then stop when you uh, 
have made it past uh, the first set of spikes. Here again, just fall down. Keep, try to keep on shooting uh, while landing to to make you not get knocked out, like that, for example. Um, oh, uh, yeah, for that. That's actually a really cool set of uh, events you can do there, really quickly. And, ah, okay, I, I should have ke kept on shooting so I didn't get knocked out, but you can make it up here really fast. Uh, once you're here... Uh, I'll try that again. Just from down here. You want to jump as soon as possible, make it over there. I'll try that again. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> That's not working. But yeah, release the laser a little bit to fall fa down faster, and then shoot the shotgun down here to make it up here. Um, it's super hard to to actually make it all the way up to the portal from there. It is possible, but it's very tight. So if you just make it through the hole, you should be happy. And then just shotgun up there. And now for the final boss, which is definitely my least favorite boss in the entire game. Um, mainly because he is very RNG dependent. Um, for example, <coughs> what just happened there, he uh, he can either from here go up or go to the left. Uh, and if he goes up, we will restart. Because it takes so much time to just chase him instead of let him, letting him go towards you. Okay, that was really good RNG. Uh, I'll just fire again. Uh, sometimes he can go to the upper path like six times in a row I've had that happen it's really unfortunate but it can happen um, getting him to, oh, like that for example uh, getting him on fire without having to do the laser battle is obviously favorable because the laser battle takes a long time Let me just see if I can uh, get him to do the laser battle like that oh <laughs> okay <laughs> I actually killed him there, um, but yeah. But if you are already in the laser battle, you should just go with it, uh, because it is faster than trying to get him afterwards again, or trying to hit him without it. Okay, I got lucky again, managed to, uh, to kill him. Also, he is really hard to hit with all of his jumping. Um, Just wants to do a laser spell. Come on, there we go. You can see it all. First, he goes it goes towards me for a very long time, and then slowly moves back towards him. Uh, and that obviously takes a shit ton of time. Uh, I'm just gonna try to do the, the boss again for you. If you die, uh, you will start back at the first phase, which is really annoying. But once you get used to him, you won't you won't even die at him. If you want to practice, you can just keep on pressing R and we'll start uh, back at the uh, first phase. Sometimes he doesn't want to get into the portal right away, which is also RNG. Really annoying, but can happen. Can cost you definitely a lot of seconds, which is really annoying. Uh, and as soon as he enters the portal, you will uh, end the timer, or as soon as the cutscene starts. So, I can get some fire here, and there! As soon as you hear the explosion, uh, and the, the final cutscene actually starts, end the timer. So yeah, that was uh, my guide to No Time to Explain Remastered. Hope you found it useful. It's not really that. It's, it's mainly just getting getting every single every single level down and not dying too much. It's how you get a uh, a good time and then praying to Iron Jesus for a few of the levels. Um, for all hats, you obviously have to find all hats. Uh, for that, you can just watch my all hats run or whatever. Uh, I haven't really made a 100% run yet, but yeah. Or you can just watch a guide or whatever. Um, for the 100% obviously you have to do these two levels as well, which I'm not going to go over because I hate them and I haven't really done them in a while. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to uh, see you on the leaderboard soon. Take care.